Yes, your children will go back to school someday. With me today is Assistant Director John Gleason for Barnstable Recreation, and we're going to talk after-school programs because they will go back to school. We promise. <laughs> <laughs> your kids will go back to yeah, school too, right, they, John? They, they, uh, you know, a lot of uh, friends. You know, the, all the kids are kind of in the same boat. They're they're excited to get back to school. You know, sometimes they don't get to see all their friends during the summer months, and yep. you know, it's a way to reconnect with you know people they don't see in the summer. And, you know, hopefully uh, we have some pr programs to provide them to hang out with their friends after school uh, and participate, you know, not in the classroom, but, you know, outside the field or in the gymnasium or, or just doing different activities. So let's talk a little bit about the after school program. Uh, HYCC is a place for kids to go after school. Yeah, absolutely. We have a great, uh, started last year, uh, first year, and this is our second year. We take sixth and seventh graders after school and we take them on a bus pick them up at the school and we bring them to the youth center and they engage in after school activities. So we try to do some homework help. Uh, we try to do some you know, fun and games obviously because you know, after school they want to just let loose a little bit. Right. Um, but we also try to do some educational things like uh, last year one of the highlights was uh, uh, Officer Fulham came over with his uh, dog and did a little canine demonstration and the kids really enjoyed that. And uh, we try to teach them some other things, you know, really how to socialize with each other, you know, because uh, nowadays kids are, you know, on their phones and computers and stuff like that. So we just teach them how to, you know, talk to each other and hang out and, and um, you know, learn to get along. Or if they don't get along, how to, you know, work it out instead of just trying to do something online about it or right. uh, actually, you know, be physical about it. We try to get them to use their words and, you know, connect with the other kids in the program. So and that's that age group. Uh, we used to call them latchkey. Um, yeah, they're kind of at that age where there's a lot of peer pressure and they're not quite ready to be home by themselves for an extended period of time. So being in a structured environment is really important. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can give the kids a little freedom, but uh, yeah, they're still you know 11, 12 years old. Uh, my oldest child is entering the sixth grade, and you know we can give her a little bit of freedom, but uh, yeah, they still need to be you know, washed over and given some guidance, um, you know, and if they do make a mistake on their own, uh, you know, at least we're there to help them out and guide them through any situations that they, they have. Right. So that's the after school program. Yep. Uh, we'll talk about uh, at the end of this how folks can uh, sign up for this stuff. Absolutely. But there's like so much cool stuff going on yeah, with Barnstable Rec and HYCC this year. Yeah, I mean, we have tons of great things. We've, uh, every year, uh, we always try to find something new and different. Uh, in the same lines, keep our traditional things. You know, our traditional things after school for fourth through seventh graders is, you know, after school volleyball, field hockey, flag football, babysitting, bowling. You know, we always have those standards, but right. uh, last year we started a new one, mountain biking. Um, I know uh, we wanted to talk about that one, yeah. and uh, that's a great program. We work with Sea Sports on 132, and they provide rental bikes for the kids to go um, on different trails in Barnstable. And if they have their own bike, they can bring their own bike, and they just get together and ride and teach the kids about all sorts of, you know, bike safety and those things. And right. it's just a cool new program that we started last year. Uh, George Noonan, one of our program coordinators, uh, is in charge of that one, and it was just such a great idea when he brought that to the table last year. That's fantastic. There's also a couple of other ones that um, kind of hit my my. Uh, you have hiking adventures too. Yeah, we have a great hiking uh, outdoor program. Uh, they meet with Miss Andrea Higgins and they go to different outdoor areas. Uh, she teaches them all about nature and um, you know sea life and all sorts of different things. Uh, it's a real you know exercise class because they get to hike and walk around but it's really educational and the kids get to learn a lot of stuff about nature. So what if you got a kid that really is not into the whole outside thing or the bustling of sports what's what's for that that more introverted uh, yeah so child? for fourth and fifth grade we also have like some science type classes um, where we wor uh, usually it's on Mondays at Barnesville United and they'll do different science classes we've done like Lego robotics we've done some different types of building type things uh, engineering type things um, so if you look in the brochure um, you'll see that it's uh, f by wicked cool for kids and they do they we they work with us and they do great programs on Mondays at Bronx United. We also have babysitting uh, for sixth and seventh graders, and that's always a popular program where boys and girls that are interested in you know watching a younger sibling or a neighbor, um, it's a great way for them to learn how to uh, 
you know, have a, you know, per se business of being a babysitter and yeah. how to navigate the whole, what should I charge, safety of, you know, CPR and first aid, you know, all those are the things that the kids will, kids will learn. There's also a boat building class. Yeah, I mean, that is just the coolest thing. Yeah, so in the past they've uh, done a Bevan Skiff. This year they're doing a uh, Bevan Skiff rowboat. Um, so it's a little bit different, but same sort of principle. They go down to um, Cape Cod Maritime Museum on Saturdays, and they meet a bunch of volunteers uh, from the museum, and they help build a boat. Um, they learn, uh, you know, how to use tools, uh, and they're really hands-on. The kids actually, you know, are the big proponents of building this boat. Yeah. You know, they work on uh, sanding it down, you know, putting in the nails, you know, p finishing it, painting it, and always we always put in if weather allows. Um, if they finish it on time, they get to put it in the water and test it out. Um, so wow. it's a great program that we've done for the past few years now with the Mu Maritime Museum, and it's really good for those kids that are maybe aren't into, you know, uh, those other offerings that we have. It's just another avenue for them to get involved in something. Right. One of the ones that I saw that I thought is it's one of those uh, uh, activities that you don't traditionally think children will do, but it seems to be popular is fencing. Absolutely, yeah. We started fencing uh, a few years ago now. Um, whenever you run into like Olympics and stuff like that, you always find that kids will gravitate to some of those programs. Um, another one, for example, is like archery, uh, which we have in the fall as well, which, yeah. you know, they see it in the Olympics and they want to do it. Or they watch a movie like The Hunger Games and they right. want to do it. Um, so the fencing is similar. You know, it was in the Olympics and, um, you know, uh, I started it back when I was a program coordinator. and bumped into uh, someone that w w teaches is it, and before you know it, knew it, we had a, a new program. And uh, we always seem to do really well with that. It's uh, after school for fourth and fifth graders uh, to teach them just the basics of, you know, how to hold it and the stance. And, and then at the end, they'll do like a little mini match. And then from there, if they're interested, they can join uh, a club, Cape Cod Fencing Club. Um, so it's just a win-win for us as a new program, and it's a right. win for the fencing club to add more fencers, you know, as they get older or, you know. Right, and it's a wonderful sport to teach sportsmanship mm -hmm. as well as balance. Absolutely. Um, sometimes kids uh, at that age from fourth to, to fifth, sixth grade, their balance is a little, you know, they're growing so fast that, yeah. you know, it's a, it's a great sport for that. Yeah, I mean, a lot of our programs, uh, you know, these kids learn valuable lessons, you know, which they learn at home from their parents, they learn in the classroom from teachers, and hopefully they're learning some stuff from, from us as well as, you know, you know, commitment, dedication, teamwork, you know, all those sort of things that you can kind of learn from, uh, I wouldn't really call it an athletic environment, but, you know, in, in team, team bonding environments and working together and, you know, if you're struggling trying to build something in that, you know, engineering type of class, well then figure out how to, you know, work it out and so you can solve it and, you know, not give up. And so we try to teach a lot of those things. And um, even though it's not one of our programs as well, uh, the golf course does the first tee program. Yep. And I know I saw your little uh, video not too long ago with right. uh, Coach Dave. Coach Dave is phenomenal, and uh, that's another program that kids could do in the town as well. It's you know Monday through s Monday through Saturday, where yeah. the kids can do the first tee program, where they learn the, the the core values and stuff like that. So, you know whether it's uh, with us with the rec or at the golf course doing the first tee program, there's plenty of things for these kids to do, uh, you know, in the town after school. Right, and we don't want to hear you're bored. <laughs> right, there's you right, yeah, you know, there's too many times where you hear, oh, there's nothing to do, there's not going on, um, right. there's plenty to do. Um, and I do want to mention, because we do talk about a lot of the after-school programs, mm -hmm. we do also have programs for the younger ones on Saturdays. Um, so we don't have enough staff to take care of every school, every child. Right. Um, but on Saturdays, we'll do, uh, you know, K-3 through three soccer, uh, K-3 through three field hockey, volleyball, tennis, um, all sorts of things for the younger age group where we can kind of dedicate the Saturdays to them and do a lot of programs for them on the weekends. Uh, and we kind of do the Monday through f Friday for the older kids after school. I love the, the little soccer kids when they first get out on the field. It's like a little maze of bees as they go oh, back and forth. You know, we started uh, <laughs> soccer a few years ago and uh, our numbers have just grown tremendously. We work with uh, uh, Coach Doc from UKST and the kids love him. And uh, he's also the high school soccer coach. So he'll bring in some of the players uh, from the soccer team and they'll work with the kids. And we, we find that model works really great when we work with uh, high school age students that are on a team like a volleyball team, a basketball team, and they work with those kids. They just look up to those kids and, and uh, 
even though those kids don't realize it, they're huge role models to these younger kids, and they really look up to them, and they, they hope someday maybe they could become the next you know, star of the basketball team or volleyball right. team. So it's really great to see the interaction with uh, you know, the high school coaches, uh, other sort of you know, partners that we have, the high school kids, and then the younger kids. It's just a great uh, you know, circle of life with, with everyone getting, getting involved in the it program. It really is. And you know what? You've sold me. How do I, how do I sign up? All right. <laughs> well, <laughs> there's it's the brochure. Uh, <laughs> so we have uh, you know, a couple ways uh, you can sign up in person. Uh, we are changing our start time this year. Uh, normally in the past it's been 8.30, but we've changed it to 8.45. A lot of our own staff comes in at 8.30, and some of us have to take our own children to you know, daycare and school and stuff like that. So sometimes it's a challenge for us to be prepped and ready for our customers uh, that early. Um, so we started at 8.45 in person or online. You can register online if you have a username and password. Um, and it's a quick touch of a couple buttons and you're signed up online. If you don't have a username and password, you can go to the same portal on our town website and click on need an account. You can fill out all your information and then it will shoot us an email and we'll shoot you back a username and password so you're ready to go uh, for the 5th. It's September 5th um, and people shouldn't wait, um, especially with the holiday weekend. Right. You know, they should be doing it uh, you know, you know, today um, to get ready. So when we come come that Wednesday, they're ready to go. And by all means, anyone can call us with any questions. Right. Um, our number is 508-790-6345, and we'd be glad to answer any questions. And the brochure is right there too. Yeah, so brochure brochure is online. Plus, right. it was delivered to all daycares, preschools, schools. So when the kids do get back to school, <laughs> um, it would go home in their backpack. Okay. Um, and I know some kids. Uh, having three kids at three different schools this year, I did see kids uh, or parents with the brochure in hand at some of the open houses. Um, okay. So it, it is out there, um, but with school starting uh, not till Tuesday, uh, maybe they could grab it online. And, and we also did email it out. So everyone that's in our computer system, we emailed them out a copy so they could you know, look, at, look it over. Excellent, well, let's hope that they all go back to school. Yeah, <laughs> cross, cross our fingers. <laughs> exactly, thanks so much, John. No problem, take care.